A Sherrard woman accused of hoarding nearly 200 dogs in her home was sentenced today to 270 days in the Mercer County Jail and six years of probation. Jenna Webster was in the courtroom today and explains what led to the judge's decision. I have heard absolutely no remorse just excuses. Eight months after being found guilty of 11 counts of aggravated animal cruelty. She knew what she was doing. Karen Planbeck is sentenced to 270 days in the Mercer County Jail and six years of probation. This is a sorry, sad state of affairs that can't be undone and should never be duplicated. In August 2022, Mercer County Animal Control received an animal welfare complaint. A warranted search of Planbeck's property recovered 198 dogs. When you think about the, the day that when we arrived, the, the odors, um, the filth, the feces, the, the urine, and the dogs were saturated in urine. They had feces caked into their fur. Nicole Joy from All Animal Healthcare helped remove and care for the dogs. Everybody's been fed. She, along with the Mercer County Animal Control Officer, testifying it was the worst conditions they've ever seen. Another, who helped rehome 50 of the dogs, says they're still healing. The abuse that these dogs were living in was just horrifying to see. And it, the emotional damage that they continue to have is something that they live with on a daily basis. The court will take judicial notice. Judge Matthew Durbin also ordering Planbeck to pay more than $196,000 in restitution and she can't have any animal during her probation. Durbin saying her history with animals has progressively gotten worse. And when I looked at the case with that in mind, the answer is that this person needs to never own an animal for the rest of her life. And so that was my request to the court. I am grateful that all of the collies are safe. Uh, that is the most important thing. I am also very pleased that she is going to be held accountable for her actions. In Alito, Jenna Webster, WQAD News 8. And Planbeck also faced a previous animal cruelty offense in 2019. However, those charges were negotiated down to disorderly conduct. She served 24 months of probation and paid a $300 fine in that case.